here on Century and Avion. You guys stand here for the same thing and said nobody's nobody's showing up yet. What the hell? Okay, no problem. Just about police brutality. There's a lot of folks who um, have been fighting a lot of issues that are symptoms of the racism we're dealing with, symptoms of the capitalistic system we're living under. But um, we have observed a lot of these actions for a long time, whether it's um, protesting wars going to Iraq, Afghanistan, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people taken to the street. And we saw those things did not stop those thousands of people that were murdered in those wars, you know, over 10 years. So our thing is we're not just attempting to make a political statement or, or scene or to be noticed. We're looking at stopping the next person from being killed tonight. We're looking at getting our brothers and sisters off the streets that are homeless tonight. So what can we do right now? And with this current climate of um, mass protests, mass demonstrations, we've been trying to suggest to people Let's get out of our communities where we've been doing this forever and having no results and actually start going to these communities where these police officers live. Let's go to these communities where these bogus prosecutors live, these bogus judges live, these politicians, the oligarchs who are actually behind all of them, financing them to empower them to do what they're doing. Just like we saw Walmart give um, Darren Wilson $10,000, the Walton family. We saw the Coach brothers give Zimmer Monkey several thousand dollars after he killed Trayvon. So our thing is let's get these actions out of our communities and go to the communities where these will stay. So today, we were looking at coming to the airport, hopefully having enough novels we can't get it. We got a very humble few, and we still gonna do what we can make it do. But the goal was to penalize this system through this airport. You know, through this airport, they're making millions of dollars every hour. So we the people could shut the flow of traffic down, shut their income down for an hour or so, we would cut off millions of dollars. But that's what we believe is more necessary as opposed to just walking down Crenshaw. So today, I'm going to read some of the demands that some of the young organizers and, and Ferguson came up with. Some of these demands are very similar to the uh, demands of the Black Panther Party. They're very similar to the demands and teachings of Malcolm X. They're very similar to the demands of the most honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey and the UNIA. They say, and we will also add two additional amendments at the end. These demands include, but are not limited to, demands, our vision for a new America. We want justice for Michael Brown. We want freedom for our communities. We want an end to all forms of discrimination and the full recognition of our human rights. We want an immediate end to police brutality and the murder of black, brown, and all oppressed people. We want full employment. But we would like to also add to that, we want to empower ourselves to self-determination and own our own communities. We saw what happened to um, Black Wall Street. We saw what happened to Central Avenue when we had our businesses. The racist white groups did, the Ku Klux Klan and the others went in and burned and bombed those communities. We want decent housing fit for the shelter of human beings. We would like to also add, we want to get our people beyond just renting. Renting is a form of economic slavery. You know, we have a right to own property or own our own community. We want to end the school to prison pipeline and quality education for all. We want freedom from mass incarceration and an end to the prison industrial complex. The two amendments we would like to make we want an end to the occupation of our communities by these racist police departments. We also demand the immediate release of all the prisoners. All power to the people. To the people.